a video on something called creme leger, which is uh, not particularly used uh, in domestic kitchens. It's more like a chefy thing, and it's probably something that's kind of quite quite dying out as well. Um, what it is, it's basically a thick, cold custard, uh, which has got um, double cre whipped double cream uh, uh, folded into it. So it's kind of, and it's served cold. Um, it's, you use it as like a filling for things like clairs and things like that, but I'm going to do something else different with it. So it, there's a, it's like a two part, you'll kind of see what it turns out like, but it is delicious. And it should be made with um, like a creme patissier, uh, but I can't be bothered making that. So we're just going to make a double strength uh, thick custard. So uh, I'm going old school. Oh, I'm also going to do something else as well. Um, uh, so I'm going old school. So it's um, boiling milk, milk powder and sugar, uh, rather than buying like uh, the pre-mixed, just add milk to kind of stuff. So it's uh, in there, I've got um, a litre of milk, whole milk, uh, full fats and then we've got um, was it 50 grams or 100 grams it's uh, 100 grams of custard powder and 100 grams worth of sugar which is double the amount so you're making it as doubly thick so if the recipe the recipe says per litre it wants to be 50 grams of custard powder I'm putting in 100 grams so it's going to be twice as thick and you'll kind of see why so and then also uh, I was kind of thinking that um, so double cream is not whipping cream uh, whipping cream is uh, no good for this, it's not kind of stiff enough, so you need to use double cream. Uh, and that's heavy cream in the rest of the world, I think. So, need to add a little bit of the milk to the sugar and the custard powder. Just give that a mix around, and then we need to boil the milk. Uh, the custard powder to it and we'll just give it a little bit of a cook uh, a little bit of a heat normally when you make custard as soon as you add the custard powder to the uh, milk it wants to go thick but there's a little bit more powder in this one so we might just have to get a bit of a cook and make it come out as thick as possible so that's that yeah and then i was kind of thinking uh, that lots of people won't want to make their own custard so i'm going to have a go at uh, seeing if we can make a creme jar with uh, tin custard as well. So it'd be a simple case of seeing how thick this tin custard is. This one, uh, other custards are available. Um, and seeing how much uh, custard we can put into uh, whipped um, double cream. Just out of curiosity. So you kind of get the same kind of result. I don't think uh, it's all right. Yeah. Tin custard's all right. Uh, but you know, it's so many ingredients in it that I just uh, I don't really like using those type of things. Although saying that, uh, I would be tempted to eat it out of the tin with a spoon. So milk's boiled. So custard in. Turn the heat right down, and then you'll see how thick the custard is. And then we need to cool it down. But as you can see already, it's gone really thick. So mix it round. I'm not particularly bothered about any lumps because I'm going to whip this up as well. So that is a lot thicker than custard that you've put on your apple pie already. We'll give it a bit of a cook, keep it moving around so it doesn't burn. And then we can do a couple of things. Cool it down. We can pour it onto a tray and cover it with cling film. So because we're going to give it a larger surface area it will cool down a lot quicker. Or we can pour it into another container with a, uh, with a bit of cling film on the top of it. Or we can uh, put the lid on a container to cool it down that way. But what I'm going to do is, because I don't want to create washing up, yeah, that's fine, I'm going to put a, in fact, the custard powder's a bit, oh, it's a bit lumpy, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to put a lid on this, and then it doesn't form the skin. Because what forms the skin is the uh, evaporation of the moisture from the top of the custard. So if we put a lid on like that, the steam's going to carry on uh, being in, uh, the steam's going to rise to the top of the pan and it's going to fall back onto the custard. So it's not going to form a skin on top of the custard. And then if we want to, because it's quite a thick bottom pan as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in a, uh, 
a bowl of cold water and then that will cool it kind of quite down as well. What you can do, another way to cool custard down, is you can um, is you can put it in your kitchen mixer with the, with the um, whipping blade on it and uh, keep it moving and uh, uh, send the mixer on into the bowl, keep it moving and then the, uh, it, will, it will cool it down uh, slowly and will uh, won't kind of fall on the skin, um, which is kind of quite, it, it's a faster way of doing cooling things down and also kind of pouring uh, it out onto a tray and letting it uh, have a large surface area. That's a, a quicker way of cooling it down as well. But anyway, so that's that. We'll let that cool down and then we'll back when we're going to whip some cream and um, stuff around with some tinned custard. <coughs> so, creme leger. I have uh, whisked up the uh, double cream uh, to quite a firm peak and I have uh, pureed the um, custard to get all any, there's any kind of lumps out of it to make it nice and smooth. I think there might be a little bit too much custard there for that amount of cream, so we're not going to add all the custard, but we'll get an idea. I think we'll add half of it first and then we'll kind of see what needs to happen. Um, so, do we need that? Probably later. I won't put it to wash just yet. So, as you can see, Custard is still nice and thick, but compared to the tin custard, and it's thicker than the tin custard. Look about the same, but it's holding together more. Is that so? We'll see how much of it we can fold into the custard. But it's normally a 50 50 ratio. So we'll put that in. See, we can always add a little bit more. As always, we can always add a little bit more. Very, very difficult to take things away. In this case, if I put too much custard in, what I'll simply have to do is I'll have to whip up some more cream and fold that cream into this. We'll just fold in. And we'll see how we go. That's looking okay. That's all right. cream that I'm going to fold in. So we'll get in the, I don't know how it's going to go down, we'll just get in the hand blender, uh, hand uh, beater and it'll just uh, get rid of those lumps. There we go, he's peasy. So there we go, creme leger. Well, can we get in a bit more custard? Let's have a go. Because I don't know where I stick. Yeah, I think we'll get a lot of custard in. We'll get a lot of custard in. We could do with... If I'm honest, I hate these things. There's got to be something better out there that doesn't make such a mess of itself. And then I've got that now. Get all this custard. I don't like waste. Oh, I would quite happily sit with a spoon and eat that. Any bits of that out of there. So, quick fold through and then another beat and that will be ready. It is really nice on top of a trifle. And if you wanted to make a Tiramisu type of, type of thing, it would work as a tiramisu as well. There we go, absolutely delicious. That and certainly makes uh, custard and cream a lot more interesting. So we'll do the experiment with the tin custard. So I don't think. I don't think we'll be able to do a 50-50 ratio in that. I think we'll have to do a... There's, 100, no, there's about 100 grams of whipped cream. So we'll do 50 grams of custard and see how it turns out. About 50 grams. We'll see how it turns out. Thank you. 
quick. Mm. Yeah, I think if you're going to use tin custard, which is fine, I'm not judging, or the uh, the jars of custard, I think a, a smaller ratio of custard to cream is going to work out well. Uh, screw that off there. I'm going a bit of cream in that. Maybe a bit more. Might get rid of it a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so like 75 grams worth of custard per 100 grams worth of double cream of work with creme leger using tin custard. There we go. Creme leger is delicious.